When Mateo Cruz was diagnosed at the age of two with a rare blood disease, doctors said he wouldn't make it to his fifth birthday. All right, blow the candles, buddy. And yet here the miraculous Mateo is, six years later. Look at those When we heard Mateo's amazing story, we knew we wanted to make his biggest dream come true. <laughs> and he knew his wish right away. He didn't even have to think. My wish is that I don't want to meet Macklemore. Family and friends were immediately touched by Mateo's dream. I mean, what can I say? Our little guy just can't stand Macklemore. And it's not just his music either, as Mateo would say, you know. He just hates the guy's whole vibe. I don't like his songs, and I don't think I'd like him as a person. I don't ever want to meet him. Okay, Chip. You're going to see what they can do, okay? No promises. When we heard the wish, we weren't sure it would be possible. Macklemore seems like a pretty nice guy, and surprising sick kids at a hospital seems like something he'd want to do. We were just hoping and praying that when he saw just how little his music meant to our son, he'd understand. That's me. That's my dad. That's my mom. And there's no Macklemore. I'll never forget that night in the hospital. Mattel must have been five, I think. We were watching TV, and he's like, Daddy, who's that? And I said, Son, that's Macklemore and Ryan Lewis. They have a song called Thrift Shop. He just goes, No, 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 no. He looked like he was going to be sick. I mean, sicker than he already was. That's great. That's really good. It was so inspiring to see the whole town come together to help make Mateo's wish come true. When all this started, I said to him, you do know nobody would ever make you meet Macklemore, right? He's not even that big right now. And he was like, I just want to play it safe. I want a guarantee. And we were like, you know, you can have whatever you want. You know, if you wanted to mm -hmm. live in Disneyland for a month, they could probably make that happen. And you would still probably never meet Macklemore. But then he said, Dad, what if Macklemore is at Disneyland? And you know what? I, I hadn't thought of that. After weeks of calling, Catherine finally connects with Macklemore's managers. Yep, just don't visit him and don't surprise him. Yep, that's all. Thank you so much. Okay. He's not coming. Okay, buddy. Time to take off that blindfold, okay? not here. He's really not here. Macklemore's never coming, honey. Not now, not later, never. <laughs> and that's when I realized that all the other kids have it wrong by wishing for vacations or a ticket to a big game. When your one wish is to never meet Macklemore, every day that you don't meet Macklemore feels like a gift. You know, this was an especially difficult job for me because I actually kind of like Macklemore. Downtown! Ah! Oh, I'm sorry, kiddo, I thought you were asleep. Just let me die!